we are starting hell week. I'm feeling good. People think the hardest part is training, but the hardest part really is food. Got my wristband on. I actually ended up burning like 10 calories just trying to get here. That is the fat burning session. I'm ready for it to be all that. What's up you guys? It's me. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be going through the motions, okay? I took you guys along with me for every single class. So in my case, four out of the eight classes of Hell Week at Orange Theory. If you guys do not know what Hell Week is, Hell Week is basically an eight day period during Orange Theory Fitness, which is like a workout studio type of place. I'll put more information about them on the screen as I'm talking because I really cannot even put into words the amount of intellect and science and everything that goes along with creating Orange Theory. But essentially, I discovered Orange Theory a couple of years ago, but I really didn't start getting into it until about last summer. Last summer, if you guys are new here, I do have an autoimmune disease and one of the drugs that I was taking that was affecting my weight a lot, especially when it came to my physical appearance in the face, was a drug called prednisone. I was taking that religiously, popping pills left and right, girl. I needed it to stabilize my body. And last summer was the first time that I actually was able to get off of prednisone pretty much fully. And when I did that, you naturally lose the weight it falls off of you so I wanted to do one better and kind of double that amount and I really started getting into going to the gym really consistently I went to Orange Theory like I tried to go like two or three times a week I didn't have enough money to sustain that at the time um, I barely had enough money to sustain like my regular life at that time last summer um, so I ended up canceling my membership however this year I really wanted to make it a goal to go through Hell Week because I knew about it last summer when they were talking about it towards the end of August I knew about it I knew knew that it was a challenge and I wanted to give myself that challenge and I knew that I would end up getting a shirt at the end of it and for me it's all about the souvenirs babe so knowing that I wasn't able to do that last year I made it a goal to be able to complete that this year I really had a blast this week you guys I honestly um I was sore you're definitely gonna see I definitely struggled when it came to eating I definitely struggled when it came to soreness I definitely struggled when it came to meeting my stats you'll see all of that in this video but overall I'm super proud of myself super super happy that I was able to accomplish this hell week I love you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So the main place that I got groceries from was Trader Joe's. I rarely come here, but when I do, I love to stock up. Um, the goal of this week was to try to eat as much food inside as possible. Um, I, you guys will see if I succeeded or failed, but these are the foods that I decided to get. Um, I ended up picking up some cookies. I got some Quaker oats, got my old El Paso with my chicken. I love making tacos. Got some chips, sriracha mayo to try to spice up any bland food that I have. Some drinks for the workout. I got some random stuff just for my house as well. Um, I ended up getting some chicken. This is what I plan to eat with the spicy mayo. Got some eggs. I always have fail safe eggs. Got some shrimp just to test it out. Some Alfredo. Um, I love the Alfredo from there. Got some broccoli. I ended up getting some almond milk, some pineapple juice, you never go wrong. I'm gonna try out that coconut aminos and I got some ginger shots as well. I actually ended up getting a hatch, you guys. I really wanted to try the hatch. Welcome to the Hell Week vlog, y'all. Today, we are starting Hell Week. It is currently 6.14, I'm about to leave to go to my first Hell Week class at Orange Theory. Got my little band on, I'm ready to go. I am so nervous and scared, you guys. I have never done Hell Week before. My first ever Orange Theory class was actually last summer, around like June or July. And the first class that I ever attended was like a really crazy high intensity one. And even the instructor was like, it's usually not like this. So I'm anticipating Hell Week to be like that class. Bring this little combo to the class. I actually just tried this for the first time today. They are strawberries and cream Quaker oats. Kind of snapped, kind of popped off with the oats. I'm not gonna lie. I meant to wake up earlier than I did. The hatch alarm clock, by the way, such a peaceful awakening. Probably the most calm awakening I've had in a very long time. And I'm hoping that it helps me wake up earlier and earlier as time progresses. I have the Espam salt on lock. Y'all already know my knees and bones are cracking even just standing here talking to you. So I'm not going to every single day of Hell Week, only four days, but here is the first one and it says enter at your own switch. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming they're gonna be doing a lot of switching around stations. So I'm super excited, super nervous. <laughs> so, so nervous. We're wearing all black in honor of the first day of Hell Week, giving very skull vibes. 
this is the fit. Got the full Gymshark, got my little Nike free runs, as always. I'm not normally a very active person, trying to get back into my swing of things, I'm trying to step into my it girl era for 2023-2024, so I am so excited to have this kickstart my fitness journey back up again, and Hell Week is one hell of a way to do it, so it's time. Let's go. I, <laughs> the first day was called enter at your own switch, rightfully so, because we were switching stations like every five seconds. We were doing the rower. We were doing weighted squats and jumps. We were doing tread workouts. We were doing crunches. We were doing TRX bands. I think that's what they're called. They're the bands that hang from the ceiling that you pull up on. Girl, we were doing it all. The thing I really like about Orange Theory is that even though I am fully aware that 99% of the time I am usually the most unathletic person walking into that room, everyone on every level is struggling. Like the people that seem like they're really, really athletic and like run at 5 a.m. with their dog, like those types, and the people like me that work out every now and then, like we were all sweating, busting our ass. Girl, it was. It was a thing. What we're striving for is at least 12 squat points per class, 12 minutes in the higher heart rate zones. Orange and the red zone combines. That's when you're extremely uncomfortable. And you also want a lot of the green points as well. So that is the fat burning zone. Green, that is base, challenging but doable. And then you're pushing with that um, orange, that red, and you're just going at it. Yes! <laughs> At Orange Theory, it's called OT Beat Report, and that is the information that the bracelet picks up on. I struggle getting into those orange and red zones just in general. I was in the green zone for 26 minutes, the orange for four, red for zero. I think I was in there for like literally a second. 17 minutes in the blue zone and 10 minutes in the gray zone. The gray zone is normally where I go like in the beginning of the class. The class usually lasts about 55 minutes. That was a hell of a class. I am definitely going to be sore tomorrow. I'm going to take an Espen salt bath today. I am going to make myself some tacos i got my mexican cheese i got my shredded lettuce and then i got some ground chicken and then i literally could not make tacos without this i use this kit every single time uh probably not the healthiest but listen i might graduate to only doing like the seasoning in here and replacing the tortilla with the lettuce wrap but today is not that day i've been giving lucky carrots recently <laughs> he loves them welcome to day two or technically day three but class two for me of hell week it is currently 11 15 a.m i have a 12 o'clock class i'm about to head out it is breathless my sleep schedule has been messed up for a long time when i tell you i got two hours of sleep today like i went to bed at 7 30 a.m and woke up at 9 30 a.m like if you can see behind me those are all the contents of underneath my sink because i got up today at five o'clock in the morning when i couldn't go to sleep tried to make some tea and in the process realized that underneath my sink was leaking but aside from that y'all i'm ready to go work out i'm feeling good i'm not even that sore and i will credit that to the espum salt bath because i get very very sore just in general and on top of that that was a hell of a workout the first day. This is the combo for today. The gym scent, by the way, because y'all know I had to hit him with the gym scent. It is the coconut spray from Victoria's Secret. I love coconut because for some reason, I don't know if this is actually proven, but just in my experience, it's kind of like a neutralizer. The sweat just turns into coconut drips. It's just so great. Let me shut up and go to the breathless class. <sighs> if they don't play Lose My Breath, jail. <laughs> I'm back. I ended up going and running a couple errands after the class. You guys, that class literally killed me. I'm gonna put my stats up here. I honestly only got two splat points, which is crazy because my body feels like I got 5,000 splat points, okay? There was actually one of the receptionists, two of them actually, inside of the class. We were talking and dying together the whole time. It was fun. I wasn't necessarily breathless. We were just doing a lot of rowing. We were doing rowing for distance um, and then doing like little workouts in the middle of it. We were doing knee highs. We were doing a 
ton of squats. My thighs are gonna feel it. I'm definitely gonna need to take a bath today in Espoom salts. If not, literally right now, definitely when I get back from work. I honestly did technically worse in terms of splat points than my first class, but I feel like I did more in this class than I did in the class before. So for me, I don't necessarily pay attention to a lot of the stats that are in the class. I really just focus on getting my own personal workout because if I focus too much on the numbers, I will make myself go crazy. So if you've ever done Orange Theory or if you're doing it right now, definitely, I mean, the numbers are important. It shows your growth, but at the same time, don't be so hard on yourself. Everybody in that class was dying. Another full class at 12 p.m on a thursday which was crazy but there were a lot of people in there everyone different sizes different colors everybody was going through their own personal journey i'm exhausted <laughs> and hopefully i'll fix my sleep schedule tonight because after all this i'm definitely gonna want to go to bed Today is Saturday, y'all. When I say I woke up like two seconds at the buzzer, I literally made it just in time. I actually was like two minutes late to class. We did a lot of arm workouts, um, a little bit of legs. My legs are literally still not usable from the last class. And now my arms kind of hurt too, so I had to put you guys up. But we ended up doing some arm workouts, a lot of like sets on one of each side. We did bench squats with the weights. We did holds with the weights, with squats, you know, and holding the weight. No rowing today, which was good. Uh, somebody there told me that yesterday they did like 23 minutes of rowing. So I'm glad I wasn't there. I'm pretty sure the other class that I wasn't there, they did burpees, which would have been extremely embarrassing for me because I literally can't even do like a normal push up. I gotta do like the, you know, knee on the ground, push-ups let me tell you today when i woke up late i was determined not to miss this class i was like running at the fastest speed that i possibly could but i got there with like two minutes to spare in the grace period finished the class got it done the next class i have is actually the last holiday class and it's on halloween day i have like a four-day period to rest and like rejuvenate i've been looking up stuff to use and i'm thinking about buying a theragun now so i can continue on this like fitness kick the whole point of Hell Week was to number one, push my limits, which it definitely succeeded in. And number two, to kind of kickstart my fitness, getting back into my old swing of things. I was really, really proud of myself last summer and I completely fell off for more reasons than one, but we're getting back on it. Um, I actually have an infusion of my Remicade, which is my medicine that I normally take. I have that on Monday. Hopefully it doesn't affect anything. The first time I took it, it didn't really affect anything in my body negatively. So I should be able to work out the next day. I actually ended up burning like 10 calories just trying to get here. I didn't even realize my bracelet was on because I was stressing so much and literally running trying to get to the class. I will give myself props. I didn't eat as bad as I normally would. Normally I end up getting like, this is like me completely exposing myself. Normally I'll get like two things Thing. so I'll get like a meal and then like a side of nuggets or like an extra sandwich like something like that because you normally I don't have a good eating schedule so I'll wait all day to eat and then just eat a bunch of stuff at once not the best for those two days that I had it this week I had grilled chicken which is a step up for me okay for somebody that constantly eats out fried food 24 7 getting grilled chicken was definitely a step up um as far as in the house i had the chicken rice and broccoli i did have alfredo a couple times i saw like a reel or a tiktok that was like people think the hardest part is training but the hardest part really is food like what you intake what you digest what you choose to feed your body and that is 100 percent true for me going to the gym and going to work out is definitely like something that I have to push myself to do, but it's the easier part of the two battles. I'm not gonna lie, like one time I literally was too tired to eat and I just went to sleep, I didn't even have dinner. Another thing I need to work on is my water intake. I'm really gonna try to drink the proper amount of water. So that is my update for today. I can't wait till the last day of whole week. I'm ready for it to be all that. I'm ready for my t-shirt, okay? I will see you guys on Halloween, the last day of Hell Week. It's last day of Hell Week, y'all. It is costume day today. It's October 31st. It's currently 6.22 p.m. My class is at seven. Got my wristband on. I got sweatpants on because it's actually freezing outside. So I'm gonna wear this in the car. Nike free runs to kick it off at the ending. Today is the day that I officially finished Hell Week. I'm super proud of myself. Super excited for staying in there. I'm back, I'm rejuvenated. I'm not sore anymore. I'm ready to kick ass today. 
let's go out strong and get my Hell Week shirt. I'm so excited. That's the most exciting part for me, okay? Leave me alone. But I'm super excited. I feel like I earned it. I love this for me. Let's go and finish this out strong. You guys, it is currently November 3rd, okay? I recently finished Hell Week on October 31st and they did not have my shipment of the shirts in yet at my studio. However, I was out. I literally am just now finishing Christmas decor shopping. That video is coming soon, by the way. Christmas is like my own personal Olympics, but that's besides the point. I um, wanted to stop by because I was in the area to see if they had the shirts. Oh my, oh my gosh, you guys. This is like, this is literally like the embodiment of all of my hard work from Hell Week. Here it is. Whoop, whoop. This is the Hell Week 2023 shirt. Ah, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself that I did it. And it really did test my limits when it came to physical endurance, especially because I haven't um, worked out in such a long time consistently. But I'm back at it, babe. And Hell Week is not gonna see the last of me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys for coming along with me for my Hell Week journey. I love you and I will see you in my next one.